When I first read this script, I was, uh, I was really attracted to the project because um, the style of the writing and the style of the story. Um, it's, uh, it's quite wacky, and I've been a fan of Simon and Nick's work before. Um, and I then spoke to Crispian on the phone and had a great conversation where we really saw eye to eye um, before I actually taped for the, for the project. Um, and something about the character and, and, and the characters that he was surrounded by really clicked between the two of us. Um, and we both kind of found a middle ground that we, uh, of a story that we wanted to tell. Um, and then the comedy side of it is something that it was a challenge for me. So I was, I was definitely looking forward to trying that out with the, uh, with the crew. Crispian hasn't been directing for too long, but it's, um, it seems, he seems to be a natural. Uh, he's, um, he's, a, he's very hands-on, he's always there to talk to, he's, um, he's full of advice, and the best thing is he knows this story like the back of his hand. I mean, you'd, you'd expect it to him, but, it, but a writer-director like Crispian, um, the detail's always there, and he doesn't miss the small moments, which are really important because we've got so many nuggets and so many, you know, Easter eggs, if you like. Uh, he kind of is always there as a reminder to, to make those little beats and catch those little bits on cameras. And we, and we then tell that story, um, it's a much clearer way of telling the story and, uh, and it's actually much more funny then as well. Don Wallace is a, uh, a northern teenager who's going to Slaughterhouse for the first time, which is a very illustrious private school somewhere in England. Um, and it's a place that he doesn't really fit into, but um, his, his parents have been working very hard for him to go and, and stay there. And, and whilst he's at this school, some unusual things are starting to happen. Um, and he notices some, some crazy stuff going on. And then uh, slowly but surely, these monsters start to attack. And um, he actually leads this school in, in, in this survival race to get away from these monsters. Willoughby, who's wonderfully played by Asa, um, is, is very, very different to Don to begin with. Um, they don't see eye to eye necessarily to begin with. Um, he's very kind of jaded and cynical about a slaughterhouse as a school. Um, and and Don, is, Don wants to try this, but he's really doing it for his family. But, so they're there for similar reasons, but um, have very different views. And then as, as Don grows to see what the school, for, the school for what it actually is. He, um, he then grows closer to, to Willoughby and, and their relationship at the end is a real kind of bromance to use the, um, <laughs> the kind of the common term. Um, it's, and it's a really lovely moment, you know, we've, we've really worked, me and Asa together and, and we've become very close friends throughout all of this. So there was a natural kind of connection very quickly of, of two guys that are getting along and are trying to get through something together. Hermione and, Iz and Izzy are um, the two fantastic young actresses, and I, we, you know, we're obviously, it's, it's one of those projects that we're all so grateful to be working with each other because we all bounce off each other and we get along as friends really, really well. Um, so it's been a fantastic experience. Um, they've really nailed the casting on, on this one for, for what I thought the, the characters were going to be and who they were going to be. Um, and then the girls just bring in another, another angle on that and have, have some really brilliant ideas. So it's, it's very natural and it's very believable and it's easy to work with them. And, and I think the most important thing about my job and uh, as an actor is, is that to feel that confidence around your co-workers to try things and do things. And, um, and with those characters, with those actors, we've really, had a, we've really had a good opportunity to do that. I've been massive fans of, of Simon and Nick for, for years, you know, ever since I was a kid, um, and Michael, and, and Asa, in fact. And I think that um, to get the chance to work with those guys was, has been an, a, an amazing experience, you know, something that I'll never forget. Um, and they're such lovely people to work with as well, really, really kind, really generous, um, very funny and entertaining. And I think they're definitely lead by example and, and lead this group by example. And, and there's a group of young people and, 
as a crew, we, we really kind of follow, follow people like that and, and look up to people like that. And it's um, something that I'll always remember, you know. Yeah, we've had some crazy lo locations on this, and I think that um, I think Stowe was definitely the most uh, amazing. It's a beautiful place with beautiful, uh, be beautiful landscape. Um, that was really exciting, and um, and then the caves obviously were a difficult place to work um, down there with little communication, and it was kind of cold and damp, and I was didn't feel too well after a week of that. But we. Um, We've had the opportunity to really kind of travel and see some really amazing places, believe it or not, even though it's all set at a school. So um, as a group, kind of exploring it t together and, and seeing these places for the first time, it's definitely, definitely nothing, like nothing compared, it doesn't compare to anything that I've done before. So it's, um, there's some really cool places, yeah. I think audiences can spe expect something very funny, very exciting, high pace, high energy. Um, they, if they're gonna, they will have just as much fun as we had making the movie. And um, they can, yeah, it's going to be a really enjoyable one. It's going to be explosive and it's going to be back to school. And, um, and it's something that everyone can relate with, which is, which is a great way of storytelling.